Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I apologize for the sound of my voice right now. Um, it's a little strain because I just came back from Windsor Comic Con as a vendor, so I socialized a lot, not only with customers, but with my neighbors around me. But today's video is gonna be a haul video. I'm very excited to show you what I got at Windsor Comic Con. I was gonna wait originally for a few days to let my voice rest, but I really, really, really what I got at Windsor Comic Con. I, I don't wanna wait anymore, so I'm gonna be doing that. I went a little crazy this time around. Um, if you guys saw my vlog a few days ago, uh, me going to Windsor Comic Con and me vending there, um, I kind of went a little crazy and uh, I, I bought a lot of one category of items and I, I don't normally do that but I couldn't resist and there's a story behind it which I will tell you in this video but I'm going to show you the mini stuff first before getting into the big stuff so let's get to it my first item I'm gonna show you I'm really happy about this um, I saw this when I was at Windsor and I got myself a new mug because lately I've also been collecting unique nerdy mugs uh, considering I drink a lot of coffee and I happen to get this mug because friends is my favorite show one of my favorite shows but I watch it all the time on Netflix when I'm crafting or I need some background noise in my house so I got a central perk mug it's really big like the coffee amount I put in here from my coffee machine it didn't even fill the cup but if I need to, I could put soup in here, but it's perfect. It's really big. That's what I really like about it. It's that it's a huge mug. That is my first purchase. These weren't really purchases. Well, one was a purchase and two were trade-offs. My first trade-off item from one of the vendors is this bag here. It's a little dice bag with crossbones and a skull head, but essentially a skeleton nonetheless, and I really like it. Um, I think I might use this to bring with me to cons to put little items in like pins and hair clips and all that so they stay together, not in a huge bag. And in it, I have pins. One was uh, a trade, I think. No, I think I bought both. Yeah, I bought both because the items I was making, um, the girls were like, I really like, but they're not my style. So they're not like a hair bow or a clip person or a pouch. And so um, I got a pumpkin boo pin because pumpkin boo is my favorite Pokemon one, it's especially around Halloween time. I was wearing the necklace all week, but um, I just want to give my neck a rest because it's getting a little rough at the back there from the chain. But I got this pumpkin boo bin, pumpkin boo pin, and it's from Geek Studio. It's a Canadian made geekery, so check her out. She's awesome. And she's got amazing soaps and um, lotions and lip balms. Oh my god, I should have bought a candle from her. Like, they smelled amazing. Check her out. I will post a link of her website down below in the description box. And then for the Knick Knack Hobby Shack, I couldn't say no to this because she is my queen. I got a Bowsette pin. She only had like one or two left and I couldn't say no. I think it's perfect. Like it's the boobs with the horns and the spikes and the gem in the middle with the crown. Couldn't say no. How'd you get it? My table buddy, um, makes prints and magnets so I really wanted a magnet because it's one of my favorite shows aside from the other show he put on here but it's a versus print but I got it as a magnet because I love it it is a Bob's Burger versus a Spongebob Squarepants I've been eyeing this magnet for a long time since we've been partnering up at tables when we go to conventions together and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna buy a magnet from you and I don't want it for free. I want to contribute and support you. And so I bought a magnet. I will link Trevor's Facebook page down below. 
He does commissions if you're interested and he loves doing crossovers and old style of cartoons like 90s cartoons. So he's a lot of prints like Gargoyles and uh, The Tick. So check him out please. He's awesome. And that is it for the small stuff. Now to go on to what's in here. This is a tub. A storage container. It is full of figures that I bought. There's about seven figures in here. It's a little excessive. I've never bought seven figures in my life at once at a convention. Because when you think about it, you're probably like, you're sitting there wondering, she bought seven figures. That's probably rough 500 to $600. I'm gonna tell you this now, I did not spend about that much or even a little less. I spent a lot less. I know, a little confusing, but I'll tell you why. So before I open, this is why. There was a vendor there who bought an entire concert stage at the convention we were at as their own space. And the vendors were a comic book that was located near the con in Windsor. So it was a huge, big spacious space and there was a huge lineup, but I went when the line was dead and there was massive amounts of figures. Like, we're talking multiple tables all along against the wall, surrounding the stage. And then I found out there that it's someone's collection. Not all of it, but like majority of the items there were someone's collection. And I was like, oh my God, this is someone's collection? Holy crap. And I went up to the table vendors and I was like, what's the real story here? I heard it's this and it's that. Turns out that uh, the owner who m mostly owned the items uh, passed away six months ago. And I guess his family did not want to deal or own any of his collectibles. So I guess they must have contacted um, the store that he usually shops at. And they were like, hey, how about we take care of all of his items? Uh, we're sorry to hear that he passed away from cancer. We'll sell his items and donate it to cancer research. And then they said, whatever um, is left over, we'll buy it off of you and we'll put it back in our store and we'll, we will resell them. So I was all like, I wanna help out with cancer research. I wanna collect these figures. So I'm definitely gonna be purchasing them. I couldn't believe the prices uh, that these items were. Not all of the figures I got in here are from one, but most of them are from the one vendor. So, let's get to it. I felt bad for buying more than one uh, character than my absolute favorite character. So I'm gonna start with my favorite character because it's the only one outside of my collection. So I found this. This is a mini Dark Phoenix figure from the Mini Egg Attack series. I saw this not too long ago. I didn't know where I could get it. I haven't even seen it until I saw a few few months ago. And we're gonna open her up because I wanna put her on my shelf. And this cost me $25. But at the spot that I was at, they were doing 15% off, so I only paid 20. And the vendor knew me and Trevor from previous cons as vendors, so they gave me a, a smaller discount by like a dollar or so. So that was awesome. Sooner or later, I'm gonna have to get a box for all the boxes I have up there because I'm running out of space to put all my boxes. She comes with a plastic casing, only for the back, not at the front. Oh, that's why I can't get her out. And she's securely tightened with a twist tie. That's so pretty. Look at that. I love the little phoenix bird at the back. Every time I get one of these, it's amazing. Oh, that's so pretty. I'll put her on my shelf later. And yeah, like out of all of them, there's only Magneto, Cyclops, and Wolverine, but I had to get Dark Phoenix. Like I had to. I just walked by the booth and I'm like, um, oh, uh, hey, like, um, this is now mine. 
and the guy just started laughing and I'm like, I'm not kidding, this is now mine. And then when I went to the, the owner of the spot, he was like, I didn't even know we had these. From the same vendor that I got Dark Phoenix, I found the pinup Poison Ivy, which I desperately wanted because I love this version so much of Poison Ivy. And I don't think I'm gonna unbox her yet. We all know what she looks like as a Funko Pop. I'm not taking her out to show you guys, but she will be placed up there with all my Ivies. Now we're gonna go to that one vendor where I bought most of my figures from. Which one am I gonna start with? Okay, I'll start with this one. I bought the Harley Quinn Vixen from the Suicide Squad movie. Um, I know a lot of people don't like this version of Harley Quinn, but I really like this style because I cosplayed her, but I really liked the Vixen style uh, for this. Um, I love the Harley Quinn one, like the classic Harley Quinn. I love the, I think there's a Batgirl. I can't tell from this series, um, but there, I know there's one of Catwoman. They all look pretty. They do. And for some reason, I can't grab the Vixen Poison Ivy. I don't know, her face looks really weird, but eventually I think I'm just gonna buy her just to add in my collection. Let's open her up and, and check her out. Comes with two plastic covers or sheets, if that's the correct term. Now, there's no tattoos on her, which is a little, a little disappointing. Like, they didn't even put rotten on her face. But it's still a nice figure, and I really like that. Her face is a star. A glittery star. There she is. Oh, I'm so happy about this. I've been looking for her for a, a, not too long ago, but I, I saw her on a website and then I was like, oh, I think I saw her on EB and I was like, oh. So I'm really happy with this and can't wait to put her up where my other Harley Quinns are. Which one should I do next? Let's do another Poison Ivy. So I bought the bombshell of Poison Ivy because if you guys saw my video earlier this year, I think it was earlier this year, I found the Halloween version at Hot Topic and I couldn't say no. So I had to buy her. Um, she's exactly what that one was. So I'm not gonna open her right now. I must have as much as I want to, but she's exactly like that one. And if you want to see an unboxing video of that one, um, I'll link the video down below. We're gonna go with another Poison Ivy. This one was done by Kia Samia, and I think it's like an animated version, but it's from Wave 2, and I recently just saw her online and you can barely see her because there's so much coverage at the at the front but she looks like this but don't worry I'm gonna take her out because I really want to see her she comes with two plastic sheets to protect her Slide her out here. Oh, is, what is this? This is just. Oh, cool! It comes with a print. I'm um, not gonna put it up though. So I'll just leave it in the box. Oh, I lied. She comes with three. I'll just leave that one there. Oh, okay. So, look at that booty and those boots. Yep, 
Yes, my thumb is on her butt. That's so pretty. So, oh, I see. So I guess I put her foot in these two slots here. And that's what she looks like with her base and that booty. I got her for $15. Like, I see her online for maybe like $80 to $100. That's a friggin' steal for $15. Yeah. The bombshell um, that I pre previously showed you, she was $30 and the Vixen was also $30. No, the Vixen was $20. Now we're gonna get to the most excited figure that I was very happy to find and get for a really good price. So it's a Harley Quinn figure and I've been looking for this for almost an entire year now since I bought the Ivy version of this. And I didn't think I would find it there. Like out of all the figures I saw, did not expect to find it there. I should have grabbed the other um, character and I didn't, but I should have because I actually really liked the style of it. And there was, so I managed to find the Harley Quinn from this series and I'm gonna pronounce him wrong again, Sho Morase. I find this online between $200 to $400 and I got this babe for $40. Yeah, let that sink in just a bit. So I'm ready to freaking unbox her because I really want to put her on my display because this is such an amazing design. I have Poison Ivy. I should have gotten Batgirl, because Batgirl was 35, but, yeah. So let's unbox Harley Quinn. Oh my god, she looks so pretty. And like before, comes with a little card, which I am going to safely put it back in the box, and let's keep it there. She comes with one plastic sheet. Oh, she is strapped in there. I'm only confused by that because <laughs> Ivy wasn't strapped in there. Grab her by the base. Wow. That is beautiful. That is insane. Like, look at that. But she does come with a mallet that goes into the back hand. So let's take the mallet out. She is super light compared to Poison Ivy. Okay, how does this go? How does this go? Okay. So it doesn't touch the base. I just dropped her mallet. I just don't I'm gonna break her. Oh, I got it. Got it. Turn her and done. And there she is. That's so pretty. Wow. Oh my god. I am so ecstatic to own this. These two. These two babes. So, I need to get Batgirl. And if I recall, I know where to get Catwoman. And she is at a good price at one of the local store. And 
I don't think no one's bought her yet, so. $40 for her. You have no idea how fast I grabbed her when I saw that box. I was like, ah. Okay, so we're gonna go to the last one, which this is the most expensive um, figure because um, I think it's the newest one that came out. And couldn't say no, because I just recently cosplayed her. So I got the Poison Ivy statue by DC Comics. And it is the new 52 Poison Ivy cover girls, DC comic cover girls. And I got this not only because I cosplayed her, but I also have the Suicide Squad Harley and from the new 52 series. And I already cosplayed that version, which I need to do a shoot in, but I have to work on her a little bit. So we are going to unbox this one. So she has two of the styrofoam packaging around her. Ooh, and some salt. And more salt. Oh, she is heavy. Has a plastic wrap around her, which is fine. Wow, look at that. I love wearing this suit, by the way. It was, it's, it's amazing. It's an amazing suit. Oh, look at the back there, there's a little heart. I don't think that's on my suit, but whatever. But this is pretty, oh, look at little toesies. Just got little toes. This is beautiful. This is really, really pretty. I love it. And I'm really glad. I was hoping to find um, a new 52 Ivy figure or a statue of some sort because I like getting figures that I eventually want to cosplay in or I have already cosplayed in. Um, most of the figures I did buy, I did cosplay them. Minus this Harley Quinn. Though, I really like the way it is and the style, like it's a plain black shirt with long sleeves, either those are cutouts, that's a cutout, and it's gradient. I really like that. And the boots, those are so cool. And the mallet, like really, this is a really good concept to uh, try to cosplay in. Um, as much as I also wanna cosplay this version of Ivy, um, it's gonna be a work in progress, but I, I, I can see myself doing it. And I've already cosplayed the Suicide Squad Harley Quinn, like, and you know I cosplayed Dark Phoenix, which I can, if you want me to, I can put a showcase video of that one. Um, it'd be a photo one because I haven't worn it in a while. I am very, very happy. Oh, also the, the new 52 Ivy, this one right here, it was 120, which I expected because I think it's the newest edition. So I'm very pleased with all the Ivies I have found. The one I'm really happy about is this Harley Quinn. Like, like oh my god. Like this is, was not expecting to find that. And I mentioned before in the video when I was unboxing Ivy, I said, oh, I'm probably gonna find Harley Quinn and it's gonna cost me an arm and a leg. I don't know if I wanna get the whole set, but if I end up stumbling upon Harley Quinn, I might buy her. There is a chance that I could buy it, but I, I, I kind of think that if uh, if I do end up buying her, it's gonna cost me an arm and a leg. Cause she's rare. Didn't cost me an arm and a leg for this one, so. That is it for all this unboxing. I hope you guys were excited or thrilled that I found some of the ones that I, I've been looking for. Like, it's funny because I've been looking for most of them and I found them all but the one I was least to expected to find was the Harley Quinn one and um, the new 52 Ivy. I was not expecting to find her um, because I, the only thing I've ever found of the new 52 Ivy um, was, whoa, sorry, I almost knocked my camera over, um, was in a pop vinyl. 
or a Funko Pop. And I, I only saw it once or maybe twice as a, a Funko Pop, so. Yeah, and that is it. And if you guys like this unboxing video of the gloriness of all my treasured items, uh, give this video a nice like. And if you want to follow me on my other social media accounts, all the links are down below in the description box as well. Make sure you subscribe to this channel because I will do more nerdy content and sewing and makeup stuff. Anyways, i like to say thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it and I will see you all in my next video. Take care. Bye!